In the dimly lit village of Ravenswood, nestle deep within the dense forest of 19th century New England, a sinister tale whispered through hushed conversations and set shivers down the spines of even the bravest souls. It was a story that defied reason and plunged those who heard it into a world of dark, creeping dread. The tale began with a reclusive family known as the Whitakers, who lived in a decaying mansion at the edge of the village. Their patriarch, Silas Whitaker, was a tall, gaunt man with sunken eyes and a voice that seemed to carry the weight of the grave. The townsfolk regarded him with a mixture of fear and curiosity, for he seldom ventured into the village and his family was rarely seen. One chilling autumn evening, a traveling salesman named Samuel Briggs arrived in Ravenswood. Samuel was a jovial man, known for his tales and charm, but his curiosity got the better of him when he heard the rumors about the Whitakers. He decided to pay them a visit, thinking he could sell them his wares. The Whitaker mansion stood eerily silent as Samuel approached it. The windows were draped in heavy curtains, and the garden had withered away into a tangle of thorns. Samuel's knocks echoed through the hallways like ghostly whispers, and at last the door creaked open. Silas Whitaker himself stood there, his eyes colder than the autumn wind. Samuel forced a smile and introduced himself, but Silas merely nodded and invited him in. The interior was a labyrinth of dark corridors and shadowed rooms, each one colder and more unsettling than the last. Samuel's unease grew with each step. Finally, they reached a room illuminated only by the pale light of the moon. In the center of the room was a large, ornate mirror that seemed out of place amidst the mansion's decay. Samuel couldn't help but notice his own reflection, distorted and grotesque. Silas Whitaker's voice broke the silence. This mirror, he said, holds the souls of those who have trespassed in this house and sought to uncover our secrets. They are trapped for all eternity. A shiver ran down Samuel's spine as he stared at the mirror. He turned to leave, but the door had vanished, replaced by a solid wall. Panic set in as he realized he was trapped, and the room seemed to close in on him. Whispers filled the air, voices of those who had met their end within these walls. Days turned into weeks, and Samuel's desperate pleas went unanswered. His hair turned white, and his sanity began to unravel. He stared into the mirror for hours, his own reflection now twisted and monstrous. Meanwhile, the village of Ravenswood grew suspicious of Samuel's disappearance. They formed a search party and approached the Whitaker mansion but as they neared, they were met with an eerie silence. The mansion stood abandoned, its windows shattered, and the garden overgrown. The search party ventured inside, discovering Samuel's lifeless body in the room with the cursed mirror. His face was contorted in sheer terror, and his eyes were fixated on the glass. They hastily fled the mansion, convinced that the Whitakers' secrets were far darker than they could have imagined. To this day, the Whitaker mansion stands as a grim reminder of the horrors that lurked within. The village of Ravens would never spoke of the Whitakers again, and their story faded into the shadows of history. But the mirror remained a malevolent relic that continued to trap the souls of those who dared to look too deeply into its depths, leaving behind nothing but whispers of despair and a chilling sense of unease in its wake.